So go ahead and collect yourself. Consider what's important to you. Maybe get uh, some ideas of what, what you're going to deal with today. And let's see how this energy read maybe will help you uh, navigate the day. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this will be an energy read for you today. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. So, you know the spiel. I always feel like this is a good time for you to maybe stop the tape. Run, do stop the tape. Uh, run and get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, glass of water, um, soda. If you have to have a soda, but it's probably better that you don't. Um, and uh, collect your thoughts. And uh, let's see how this energy read uh, works out for you. Okay, so I got these great cards, and if you ever doubted that I'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards, then this will confirm it. So these cards are by famed artist Salvador Dali. He includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife, and they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that uh, he felt were appropriate for the, for the interpretation. Uh, these cards were created... Uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, Live and Let Die. However, uh, Dolly's um, uh, price was, was, I guess, too much. So contract uh, negotiations broke down. And then finally, 10 years later, by 1984, Dolly completed the tarot deck, 78 cards, and had them published for the first time, limited edition. And now Tostin has re- um, uh, printed these cards in this amazing uh, box. So when I ordered them, I thought I'd get a box, you know, about this big. And when this thing came in the mail, I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. And once you get inside, you've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the cards. When I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So, um, lovely, lovely book. Amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was, was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, Dolly and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark and I've got uh, vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you've got a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've, they've got everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing um, I'm so glad I got this. It was all well. Now the cards, look at how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to, to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful 
uh, foil-looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So, like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. But um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On the Magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of the Magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on the uh, Empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but, uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so there's where we're at. You know, I, I make these, uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, a reader might pull up in, the, in a reading and, um, and enjoy that. And then like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. And then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the, in the reading. So Salvador Dali, amazing, worth every penny I paid for these. Okay, so this energy read for you today, we're going to do with someone who had amazing energy was Salvador Dali. He understood the value of his talent early on, and he wasn't one of those artists that died poor and starving and, and became famous, you know, 200 years after he was gone. No, he understood his value. And uh, if, if there could be a better choice for an energy read, I don't know what it could be. He could take a simple idea and really make it work for him. And you know, I thought I saw an upside down card, but I'm just going to have to live with it. So we're going to take this energy read for you today. And just like I said, it's like looking out the window, take a look at the weather and see what do we want to take with us today. doesn't mean you'll get it right. You might be surprised by a, a, a sprinkle or a breeze or a blast of, of cold air or an unusually hot situation. But uh, that is an opportunity. All of those things are opportunities for you. And we'll see what uh, Salvador Dali has for us today in this energy read. Okay, so this will be... A full Celtic cross. Take one from here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to start with these six cards and then we'll move on to the last four once we get through this first part of this divination. Okay, so that's six cards. The signifier card for this energy read for you today then is strength. Love that. Fuerza. Okay. So strength is letting us know that you are the strength. Nothing more needs to be said. Understand that. The challenge to that is the king of wands. And the king of wands, wands are action, motion, power, planning, moving forward, fire. And the king of wands is absolutely in control of all of that. And uh, so what's better than to be the strength with the plan to move forward. The base of this reading then is the Queen of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Swords are rules, uh, law, justice, health, uh, truth, and uh, the Queen of Swords is certainly a powerful a base to start this uh, reading on. Okay, I guess we'll just have to remember the strength of theirs because these are so big they won't all appear on the on the on the, on the canvas. Uh, the past of this reading then is oh I have to count these up because it doesn't tell me how many we have here. So let's go through it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of wands. You know, the ten of wands is a heavy load to push forward. I love the imagery in here. We can see a face right here. We can see Dolly's name over here. Um, you can see a butterfly with its wings kind of in a relaxed position. And so this is just telling us that this is a huge effort that has to be moved along. And that's how we come into this, okay? Doesn't mean it can't be done. Why? Because you've got the strength, you've got the command of a plan, and you've got the command of the strength to do it. These swords. Um, okay, in the sky of this reading, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of cups. Eight of cups. I'm going to remind myself uh, about the eight of cups. Um, focus, uh, change of heart, uh, drain. So the uh, eight of cups is telling us that, you know, this is a situation where you may feel like you're having to turn away from something of huge emotional value, okay? So let's recognize that. Let's get that out of the way. Let's understand it now so that when that point comes, we're not uh, stymied by it. Why? Because we have the strength to pull through it, okay? I want to really highlight that strength. Yep, you can do it. Now, 
the uh, likely outcome of this first part of this uh, Celtic cross is then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles is what? It's familial wealth. It's being flush with value, okay? With something that's going to ripple on into the future and cause um, uh, uh, useful uh, repercussions. So that is the likely outcome of making this decision, facing this day. The next four cards, I'm going to take them one at a time. And so the self of this question uh, for today is this great big ace of cups. So this is a great big, almost angelic looking offer of compassion, of emotion, of uh, um, deep feelings. All right. So let's understand that. The self of this this day. So if it's a great big ace of compassion, then the self of it is these three of wands, which tell us about long-term planning, about uh, motions forward, about the fruitful path that you can uh, choose that is going to have, uh, again, repercussions uh, further than, than you may think, or maybe just as far as you thought you needed to go. Okay? Put that here. The uh, hopes and the fears of this, then, the high priest. The uh, high priest is... Um, the, the card that tells us, it's like the Hierophant. That there are rules, there's judgment, there's a, a way, a structure of going about this. And so the hope is that we find it and the fear is that we don't. All right, so consider your situation. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is going to be this one, two, three, four, five, six of cups. And the six of cups, oh, it's a seven, one, two, three, four, five. What the, yeah, six of cups is uh, understanding that the way things were is the way they can be again. There was a time when this situation was what you wanted it to be. Understand that that can be again. Okay, there's nothing that can keep you from doing that. So that's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful reading. You have the strength. You have the as the king of wands. You have the, a strong plan. As the queen of swords, there's some truth and some justice that you're in command of. With this ten of, of wands, there's no doubt that this plan that's, that brought us to this or this bundle that we've been pushing is a difficult one. But with this, uh, how many was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With this uh, eight of cups, understand that you're not. You may be turning away from some sort of a compassionate situation, but the likely outcome of this is that it's going to be this Ten of Pentacles, lots of strength, lots of uh, ripples into the future. The self of it with this great big Ace of Cups is an emotional, passionate uh, offer. And then this Three of Wands tells you that this plan, this long-term plan, is going to carry you right into what you need. Uh, this High Priestess just reminds us that we want to follow the rules. We want to think about the structure of what we're doing. And the Six of Cups tells us that things can be the way that we thought they should be, maybe the way they were, even at one time. Hope you got something out of that. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, whether this is at the beginning of the day or the end of your day, it'll give you some uh, insight into how things are going to go or maybe why they went the way they did. So um, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.